Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tomasz and in today's video I'm going to talk about 10 SAP code lines you can easily identify. In my previous videos I showed you how to connect to SAP automatically and how to record macro in SAP. So now it is time for some modifications of your recorded script. So imagine a situation when you got prepared code for connection and recorded script for transaction you want to automate. But you need to put inside the recorded script some variables which stand for values from your worksheet data or whatever data you want to upload into SAP. That's why I found old recording of transaction and I'm going to go through it step by step, line by line and show you guys how to recognize and understand some basic code from SAP recordings. So before we start our list of 10 SAP code lines, we can see here the SAP connection part, which I was talking about in one of the previous videos. If you missed that video, you can find the link to that in the description. So after login, password and language, you can see the confirmation line, which is behaving just like enter key. Also, what is important to mention or to start with is this part, which is telling us that we are working, doing everything in the first main window. So having this first part of all lines explained, we can go further. Maximization of the main window. If we want to have SAP window on the whole screen, we can also use Iconify to minimize. Then we got the transaction window where we use text property to put the transaction name. You can see that the name of this window is OKCD and it is located in the first taskbar, T bar 0. Also, you can find in your recordings something like caret position, usually next to those with text property, which means that the cursor is in the specified position in the window. In most cases, it is totally useless so you can delay this as well. Next on our list, checkboxes. If you see selected property used and the CHK inside it means that line stands for the checking, true value, or unchecking, false value, the checkbox. Going further, there are also some set focus properties used in the code which means that during the recording I've selected something in the meaning that I clicked for example on the description or title of the window but not checked like in checkbox or clicked like pressing the button. What is next on our list? In most cases it is also useful the same as the card position. Coming to the next thing about which I mentioned few seconds ago is press method. Usually I have seen this with buttons, BTN. When you press the button you always select it, like I mentioned. That's why you probably always see set focus before the press. And the last thing on our list is that part of selecting cells of the table. This time it is called shell container, shell cont, but there is also for example just a table, TBL. Set current cell means that you clicked or selected on the cell in the fifth row in the column named text, in our case. Next line, selected rows, is telling us that this container required from us to select the whole row. So even if we clicked in the specified cell in the text column, we chose fifth row in result. So in this case, probably it is not needed to have set current cell line. And this is it. That was 10 SAP code lines you can easily identify. I hope from now on 
the SAP recording will not look like matrix movie code for you. If you like this video, please leave a like below and if you want to be updated about my latest uploads, please hit that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate that. I also invite you to my website simplexlvba.com, to my Pinterest profile with all the memes from my articles, to my Facebook profile, and if you want to show your support to my channel, you can buy me a coffee. All the links are in the description down below. I appreciate all of your support, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.